Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another one of Gaming with Cookies tutorial, guys. I'm not gonna hold you guys anymore, let's get it. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another tutorial guys it's your boy gaming with cookies and guys today we're going to be installing different fonts into your paint.net some of you guys do know how to do this uh shout out to jeffrey gamer uh maddie's ball you guys both know how to do it and uh i'm sure a few others that are watching this video know how to do it and if you guys are watching this video to support your boy i appreciate it even if you guys know how to do it, you guys are still watching. I do appreciate it. 100% guys. We are on the road to 800 subscribers, guys. Last time I looked, we are only about 20 subscribers away. So, I appreciate you guys so much. And guys, I know I haven't been putting out very much content. Which I do, do deeply apologize, guys. I do deeply apologize. It's... There's no excuse, guys. There's, there's no excuse whatsoever. But guys anyways let's get into it and so you guys are gonna click the link in the description to a page called defont.com d-a-f-o-n-t dot com all right here we go so this is what defont looks like all right see defont.com uh you guys can actually go ahead and download whatever one you want uh, you guys can, again, go ahead and download whatever one you want, whatever one you find that you like. Uh, it's the same installation process. Uh, so, go ahead and find whatever one you like. Um, for my thumbnail today, I'm actually going to be using the Deadly Fisher. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. So, what you guys are going to do is, once you find the one that you want to install, okay? Now, this is the one that you want to install. The one that you're going to use the one that you are watching this tutorial for okay you are going to come over to it okay where this download button is right here that is a great download button you guys know what it says d o w n l o a d okay you're gonna go ahead and click that all right and it's gonna pop up in a winrar okay yes i said winrar not a 7-zip. A winner. But if you guys have 7-zip, that works too. Same thing. Alright. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up the deadly underscore fisher. Okay. Zip. And it comes up on my second screen for no reason. Seems legit. Alright. So, we got this. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is you actually can go ahead and X out of your web browser. Um, again, guys, you can install whatever one you want. You can install multiple. You can install one. You can install freaking 80 of them. Okay? It's up to you guys. It's the same process for installing them, guys. You come over. You click the download button. It pops up in a zip. And it looks like this. Okay? Alright. So, you guys can go ahead and close out your web browser once you're done. Alright? Now, what you guys are going to do is you're going to double click this deadlyfisher.ttf. So go ahead and open that up. Alright. Just going to go ahead and bring up your fonts here. Takes a second for it to load. For you guys, it might just come instantly. Alright. So, there we go. So these are your different fonts. Okay. Well, let me phrase that. It's the same fonts, but these are the different letters that you guys can use. So, to install this, you guys are legit going to come up to where it says install. And just click install. And that's it. That is it, guys. It is that easy to install them into your paint.net. Alright, so now we're going to be looking for the Deadly Fisher in our paint on that. Okay, so go ahead and close out of this once you have installed it. You go ahead and close out your WinRAR as well. Background is pretty dope, isn't it? Alright, so I'm going to 
go ahead and flare up my pink donut. All right. I'm just gonna make a box so I can show you guys where the, all right, so I'll just be like, Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to where it says font and you're gonna find the font that you have installed, okay? And look at that, Deadly Fisher. There she is. Let's go ahead and make this bigger for you guys. All right guys, so that is gonna be it for this tutorial. Fast, simple, easy, down to earth, like you boys, okay? And guys, that is gonna be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys did it enjoy. And if you did, make sure to smash the like button. You can't smash it too light, because if you smash it too light, it will not work. You gotta smash it as hard as you can. I don't care if you break your iPad screen, your mouse, I don't care what you do. You gotta smash the like button so hard that you break whatever you're watching on. But guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, Make sure to smash the like button, and like always, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, guys. Peace.